Hello everyone, welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're taking a look at the brand new update for Topaz Gigapixel AI. It's really a really great update. They've added some really cool new features and improvements to it and some bug fixes and all kind of stuff like that. But it's really good. So you're going to want to watch this video and see what all those new features are. And I'll demonstrate them for you. Uh, and by the way, if you already own Gigapixel AI, it's a free update for you. So go ahead and get that new update. And by the way, it's on sale now. Plus, you can save an additional 15% when you use my affiliate link. I make a small commission, and it helps me to keep these YouTube videos coming at you. I'll leave some information up on the screen here so you can see what that's all about. But this update is really great. So without any further ado, let's take a look at it. Let's start off by taking a look at uh, the new uh, version, Gigapixel 5.0.0, some of the major features. Okay, so they have a new previewing mode, a uh, single image view, uh, new zoom feature, zoom to fit, a zoom slider, a text field input, and scroll wheel to zoom, updated AI models. Now, this is one I'm really excited about, and I'm going to show you that here in a second. Image type selection on the right panel. Choose between two different AI models, one for natural images like portraits and nature, and then... Uh, and then man-made images like cityscapes and typography, like the print, print and things like that. And then there are some improvements here. So we have uh, preview panning responsiveness has been uh, drastically improved. And all these different things here. I'm not going to read through them all, but um, updated back-end CPU processing library ability to right-click to select preset zoom. So a bunch of different things here. So you could just take your time and, you know, pause the video and read through the improvements. But I wanted to mainly show you the uh, major features. Now, here we are inside of Gigapixel AI version 5.0.0, the latest update. We have two different ways of opening images. We can click on File and click on Open Images. Or we can click on this open right here. Now, remember, Gigapixel AI will let you batch process images. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And I'm inside of a folder called Gigapixel. Gigapixel version 5.0.0 and I have my pre-upsized images right here. I've, I have two images picked for you. So these two right here. So let me go ahead and select these and click open and they will open inside of Gigapixel. Let's go over the new features. Okay, so we have a single image view. So if you come up here to view and click this, you'll notice you have single view and side by side view. So let's click on single view and now we have a single view and I think this is a welcome addition for me anyway. And here's how I would use it. Okay, so now I can see what it looks like. And I'm zoomed in, or I am uh, upsized to four times here. I'm in the scale mode. Now, of course, you can use width or height as well. And I have other tutorials showing you how these work. But today, I'm just looking at the new feature. So we're at 4x. Let's go to 6x and let this uh, upsize itself. We'll let the preview regenerate. So now we're at 6x times view. And so now let's click original. So now you can see what the original looks like. And check that out. It's all pixelated. And now it's upsized six times. So if you look down here at the bottom, the original size was 2,000 by 1333. Now it is at uh, 12,000 by 7998, which is a nice big upsized image. But look how sharp and clear that is. But that's the single view or else you can go to the um, side by side view and you can see your image side by side. Now there's different ways of zooming the image in now. This is new. We now have this new uh, zoom slider bar that we can use to zoom. It has a range from the original size and you can zoom up to 400%. I'll stop here at 192%. Now the other thing you can do is you can use your mouse uh, scroll wheel to zoom as well. So you can uh, zoom that way. Or the other thing you can do is you can just come up here to the little magnifying glass. And they, they've had this before, but you can zoom to 50%, 100%, whatever you want, which is really nice. By the way, I'm using the auto detect settings, but you can manually adjust this too, but it's simple to do. You have uh, suppress noise and remove blur, so if you need your image a little sharper. But I'm just leaving, leaving it in auto for now. But this is... Uh, this feature here, face refinement, this was in the previous update, which I love this. If you have faces, 
it works really well. And one of my update, one of my enlargements I'm going to make is on a face, but right now we're looking at this building here. So right now we want to leave this off, but obviously if you have a face, you definitely want to turn that on. But this is new right here, the image type. You have natural or man-made. So natural would be like nature shots, uh, people, things like that. And then if you have something man-made like this building right here, you want to use man-made. Now, I am zoomed in at 100% with my side-by-side -side view. So on the left, you see the original, what it would look like, look like zoomed at a, in at 100%. And on the right is what the upsize would look like. And I'm upsize 6X, and it looks really great. But let's try the uh, man-made and see the difference. So let me go ahead and click man-made. Now, watch the image on the right. Look how much sharper and more defined it gets. So... That is a welcome feature. I really, really enjoy that. That is great. Thank you, uh, Topaz, for that feature. So again, here's the man-made, here's the natural. A big difference, right? And then next up, I'm gonna show you an image that is a face, and you'll see how that works in the natural mode. Underneath the image, you'll notice we have the two files down here. Now here's the city image right here, and it started out at 2000 by 1333, and now it's up to uh, 6x uh, upscale up to 12,000 by 7,998. Noise removal and blur are both set to auto. The blur accounts for how much uh, blur is removed from the image or how much it is sharpened. The second image is a portrait of a high school senior that I shot a while back. And this image is the same size as the previous city image. Now let's go ahead and click on the second file, which is the high school portrait, and let's get a look at that one. So we're zoomed into 100%. Now you can also come to the navigator here and see the little square, and you can drag this and move it. Let's move it over the eye, right there. And what I might do is, <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's click the zoom, and let's zoom to 50%, because, man, that eye is huge in my face. All right, so right now, let's take a look at our image types. Now, right now, we're set to man-made, and you can see how sharp that, that eye is, okay, in the eyelashes and things, but compared to the one on the left now, again, the one on the left is the original size of the image, and the image on the right is upsized six times. So right now, we're in uh, face refinement is off, so let's turn face refinement on, and you'll notice a difference when we do that. Already it looks more natural, but we're still in man-made. So remember, if it's not a man-made subject, click on natural. And now we'll see what that result looks like. Yeah, and that looks beautiful. Okay, so we have the nice, the face looks natural to me. And hence the type natural. So this is a welcome addition, natural and man-made. So the man-made worked great on the uh, city shot, but the... But the natural is working great on the face. Plus, you also have face refinement. Now, in the natural mode, let's shut the face refinement off and see the difference. Now, I don't know if you can really see this, but it seems to me that the eyebrows and eyelashes are not as sharp. Now, let's turn it back on. And from what I can see, and again, I don't know if you'll see this, but when it is turned on, the eyelashes and the eyebrows definitely, to me, seem like they are... A lot more sharper but the actual skin itself remains softer and not over over sharpened i must say this new image type natural and man-made is a welcome addition to gigapixel ai i for one think it's great i'd like to know uh your thoughts on it in the uh in the comments below and now we're ready to go ahead and uh batch process our two images i have select all checks so both of these uh files will process out together and um, all we have to do now is click on start batch processing this dialog opens up right here all right we have our image format right now it says preserve uh, source format I'm gonna click this and change it to a JPEG and now we have an option of what quality we want hey I want maximum quality 10 so I'm gonna leave that on a 10 and then uh, we have a choice we could give it a prefix or a suffix to add to our uh, file name I'm gonna use the suffix gigapixel that way I'll know it's been an upsized image and then we can add the scaling mode to the file name. I have yes checked on, so it'll tell you uh, the scaling mode, like what size it was. Or if you use width or height. So that's important. So leave that to yes if you want that. If you don't care about that, just leave it on no. And then you have save directory. You have custom or source. 
I'm going to put it to a custom directory. Now to change that directory, all you have to do is click on change and then just point it to the directory that you want it to go to. And I'm just going to go and find it here real quick. It's inside a gigapixel and I want to put it inside of gigapixel version 5.0 upsized right in here and click open and now it's going to go in that directory and then you have color profile you can uh, preserve the source profile or change it I'm going to go ahead and change it to sRGB but you know you can click there and change it to pro photo Adobe RGB whatever you want to put it on but I'm just going to use sRGB and then I'm just going to click start and that'll start the batch process and when it's done processing, I will let you know how long it took. It's now finished and you can see the first image, the city shot took 46 seconds. The second shot took 41 seconds. And remember, they started out at, they started as 2000 by 1333. They were upsized six times and now they're at 12,000 by 7,998. So it did it really quick. And I have to say, I have a... I have an iMac computer. It's a 2019 uh, model i9 processor, and I have a I think an eight gigabyte uh, graphics card in there and 32 gigs of RAM. So processing times will vary depending on your computer, the age of your computer. You know what your processor is, what your graphics card is, and all those kind of uh, different things factor into how long this processing time will take. My images are neatly stored away in the folder that I sent them to. But let me show you something really nice. You see these icons right here? If you click on one of these icons, I'm going to click this, and you notice it says Show in Folder. I'll click that. And here's the folder that they're in. I'm going to go ahead and select these two and double-click it, and this will open up my preview. And now you can see my images right here in a preview here. So here's the first image, the city picture. And this was shot on a very old uh, Canon. I think it was a Digital Rebel, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and zoom into it so you can see it is super sharp and clear and defined. And that is a 6x upsize. So really nice. I'm really happy with that. And now here's my second image here of my high school senior. And it looks great as well. It's amazing. This was a Canon 5D Mark II. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. But the areas that need to be sharp, like the eyes and the eyebrows and the eyelashes, look really great. But the skin tones are soft the way they should be. They're not over sharpened. So I'm really happy with that. So there's my two images. And by the way, if you see any lines, I, I, rec I recorded this and then I erased it because I saw some lines going through the image here. I wanted to see if that was on the uh, actual video or if that was actually in the image. But it wasn't in the image. It was actually in the video. So I just want to point that out. If you see any lines going across, that's just due to the, uh, the way the uh, image was processed, the video itself. Well, there it is. Uh, version 5.0.0, Gigapixel AI, the new update. A lot of new features in there. Those new models are amazing for natural uh, materials like buildings and nature and things like that. And then we also have the, um, what's the other model called? The man-made model. That's what it's called. Couldn't think of it there for a second. The man-made model, which is for like buildings and things that people make, like cars and, and all kind of stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff in there. And you also have the face refinement, which was from a previous version. Another great feature in there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Hey, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.